What the fuck is up? Welcome back. My name is Noah Hills. You can catch me on Twitter at No More Parties. You can catch me on TikTok at No More Parties as well. And we're back with prize picks, uh, five by five flex play, prop bets for Thursday night football. Tonight we got Saints versus Cardinals. I got five picks and two honorable mentions. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, the first line I like this evening is Zach Ertz receiving yards. 47.5 receiving yards is the line. I like the under. Zach Ertz is averaging 49.8 receiving yards this season. He's hit the over in exactly half of his six games, and he's hit 45 yards in 47 yards in two of his other games. So the average Zach Ertz game for this season is right at this line. But the Saints have allowed... Just one tight end to hit this over all season, and that was when Noah Fant had 49 yards against them. Nobody else against the Saints this year at tight end has gotten over 23 yards, and that includes guys like Kyle Pitts, Irv Smith, Hayden Hurst, like decent tight ends who they've held to very little production. Zach Ertz has been heavily involved with the Cardinals, but I like him to, to go under his receiving line tonight. The next line I like is DeAndre Hopkins, 59 and a half receiving yards in his first game back. I like the over. Obviously, his first game this season, he's averaged 76 yards per game with the Cardinals in the last two years. And opposing wide receiver ones against the Saints this season have averaged 84 yards per game. And those wide receiver ones have hit the over in five out of six games against the Saints. The only one who didn't was DJ Moore. I think he had like five yards Obviously, he's getting stifled quite a bit by Baker Mayfield, but every other wide receiver one against the Saints so far has hit this over. No Hollywood Brown. Uh, the Cardinals just signed or just traded for Robbie Anderson. I don't know that he's going to play. Um, I haven't seen that yet, but either way, he's either not playing or it's his first game with the team like ever. Hopkins and Murray have a connection. Um, I think this should be a Hopkins game, especially if Marshawn Lattimore can't go. He's been a DNP in practice all week. Who knows? Either way, I think this is going to be a fairly consolidated passing game for the Cardinals this week. Hopkins back. Ertz theoretically uh, having a down game given how good the Saints have been against tight ends. Uh, no Hollywood Brown. I like Hopkins to go over 59 and a half yards tonight. The next line I like is Alvin Kamara. 98 and a half rushing plus receiving yards. And I like him to go over this line. He's averaging 109.3 yards from scrimmage this season, including 159 yards per game in two games with Andy Dalton as the starting quarterback. And I'm assuming Andy Dalton is playing on Thursday. I'm, I'm filming this on Wednesday and there's some lack of clarity, but it seems to be trending that direction with Andy Dalton. You know, I'd probably take this over even if it was Jameis Winston, but the Saints are likely also without Adam Troutman, uh, Jarvis Landry, Michael Thomas. They're getting Chris Olave back, but this is probably a very consolidated offense um, in this game against the Cardinals. Alvin Kamara, Chris Olave are the best players on the team, really, on, on the offensive side of the ball. So I expect Alvin Kamara to be heavily involved. He's been heavily involved recently and with Andy Dalton. I like the over on this line. The next line I like is Jawan Johnson, 22 and a half receiving yards. I like the over. He's averaging 28.3 receiving yards per game this season. He hit the over in four out of his six games so far, and the Cardinals are giving up the most yards in the entire league to tight ends. They've allowed the over on this line in all but one game this season, and like I said before, no Troutman, no Landry, no Thomas, and Jawan Johnson has gone over 40 yards in each game this season in which Adam Troutman has played fewer than 50% of the snaps. So he's been involved, he's been surprisingly kind of good, and probably no Troutman tonight, no Landry, no Thomas. I like Juwan Johnson to get at least 23 receiving yards. And the last of the 5x5 five five that I like is Kyler Murray, 30 and a half rushing yards. I like the over. Um, he's averaging 38.8 rushing yards per game this season, and he's hit the over on this line in the last two games. He had 42 and then 100 in his last two games, and in three other games, he hit 29, 28, and 26 yards. So he's been right there. He also averages 38.8 rushing yards per game for his career, and he's run for at least, what is this, 31 yards in more than half of his career games. And so this is just betting on a mobile quarterback, on an offense that has been a little bit dysfunctional to just revert to what he does best and run the ball. That's what he's been doing recently. 
That's just that's just what he does best, and I like him to do that. I've got two honorable mentions. I kind of went back and forth on like which one do I want to include on the five by five flex play between Kyler Murray rushing yards and Kyler Murray passing touchdowns. But my first honorable mention is Kyler Murray passing touchdowns. The line is at 1.5, and I like the under. He's only thrown six passing touchdowns this season. That's one per game, obviously. And he's only thrown more than one in two out of six games. And in those two games, he threw two each. So he's not throwing a lot of touchdowns this season really at all. The Saints have given up three passing touchdowns in each of their last two games. That was against Joe Burrow and Geno Smith, both guys who are playing well recently. In their previous four games, they went zero touchdowns, one touchdown, one touchdown, one touchdown, including games against Tom Brady and Kirk Cousins. So they've been facing good quarterbacks, have been fairly stout. Kyler has thrown more than one touchdown in fewer than half of his career games, and nearly a quarter of his total career touchdowns are rushing touchdowns. So there's a chance he just doesn't throw many, there's a chance he just doesn't score that much at all. But if he is scoring, there's a chance he's like vulturing himself with rushing touchdowns. He just doesn't throw a lot of touchdowns. And the Saints haven't given up a ton of touchdowns, so I like the under on that line. And then the last honorable mention is Chris Olave, 60.5 receiving yards. I like the over. He's averaging 77.8 this season. He's hit the over on this line in three out of five games, and he had 54 yards in one of the games in which he didn't hit the over. So um, the Cardinals have been pretty good against wide receivers this season. They've given up the eighth fewest yards in the league to wide receivers. But Olave is, like, given how many guys are out for the Saints, he's really the only legitimate outside passing option for the Saints in this game. Like, Traquan Smith, Marcus Callaway are kind of the other guys, but Olave is the one legitimately good player. And he's still, you know, he was more productive with Jameis Winston, but he's still averaging like six and a half targets and over 100 air yards per game with Andy Dalton. And so his first game back, he's probably the freshest guy on the team. You know, it's a short week, but he didn't, he hasn't played. So I like him to go over uh, 60.5 receiving yards this evening. Hopefully we don't have a repeat of last week where we went 0 for 5. That was uh, embarrassing, shameful from me. But yeah, that, that's what I got. The, the main five, Ertz, Hopkins, Kamara, Juwan Johnson, Murray rushing yards. Honorable mentions, Murray passing yards. Olave receiving yards. Let's do it. Good luck tonight. See you next week.